Welcome students, we are now going to start with second part of chapter 3 that is books of original entries. First, journal entry is done through source document. Now, this is called journalizing. The original entry books are journal proper in which we record those transactions which are not very specific like cash book we record all the cash transactions, day books like purchase day book we record credit purchase transaction and sales day book we record credit sales day transactions, purchase return book we record only those purchase return which are purchased on credit and in sales return we record all those credit sales return and if these specific transactions are recorded in these books then whatever is left is recorded in journal proper. So, journal and journal proper are two different things. In journal we record all the entries and then after that we subdivide it into cash book purchase book, sale book, purchase return, sale return and the remaining element in journal proper. Okay? Now, what is a journal? Journal records the entries in chronological order that is date wise order. So, we have got four columns in that. First column date, the date of the transaction, then particulars where we write what is to be debited, what is to be credited. Then there is another column ledger folio, a very small column in which we write the page number of the ledger where this particular account or entry is noted. Right? Then there are two more columns debit credit, either I have to write in debit or in credit. If something is to be written in debit, then nothing will be written in credit and if something is written in credit then nothing will be written in debit and of course, there is very important part narration which is given along with that entry which explain the transaction that what is actually there in the transaction. So, when we start writing in the particular column the debit is written in the first line and credit is written in the second line with prefix 2. Suppose, we have to write RAM debit and cash credit. So, I will write like this RAM account debit to cash. So, 2 is written for credit part and RAM account debit is written in the first line. Then ledger folio I already told you page number of the ledger which will be filled only at the time of posting it into the ledger. So, while recording you will just write it and when we will be posting the thing into the ledger then that ledger page number will come in the journal entry. Right? Now, let us see some examples of journal entries. Started business with cash. Now, what will be debited? Cash because in the rules I told you cash is an asset and asset will be debit when it comes. So, cash account debit and capital account credit because it is increasing your capital. So, now you can combine these journal entries with accounting equation and understand why it is being debited and why it is being credited. Please see again started business with cash what is coming in cash. So, asset is debit and who is contributing capital? Capital increases when you contribute the money. So, I will write like this cash account debit to capital account. I hope it is clear. Let us proceed to the next one purchased stationery in cash. Now, your cash is coming or going? Yes, it is going. So, it is an asset, asset is going 
means it is credit. Now, what you have done is expense of stationery and expenses are debit. So, what I will write in the particular column is stationery account debit in the first line and two cash in the second line. Next one purchase goods from Ram. Now, here goods are coming, it is an asset, it will be debit and who is the giver of these goods? Ram. So, he will be credit. So, debit goods credit Ram. In other words, when we will write this entry, our entry will be purchase account debit and Ram account credit. Now, when we purchase the goods and sell the goods, we write purchase and sales and not goods. This we are going to discuss in the next chapter. So, right now here let us understand when we purchase goods, it is purchase, when we sold goods, it is sales. See the next entry, it is sold goods to Sham. Now, who is the receiver? Sham. Now, what is going out? goods. So, Sham account debit to sales. I told you na, instead of goods, we have to write sales. right? Next entry, goods given as charity. Now, charity is an expense, expense is debit. So, charity account debit and what will be credit? No, no, not goods purchase will be credit. I told you na, when we purchase goods, it is debit and when we give goods out of that, it will be credit because it is an expense. Next, purchased furniture. Now, we are purchasing, but we are purchasing an asset not goods. So, what is coming in asset? Asset is debit, furniture account debit and what is credit? Cash account credit, because if nothing is mentioned, it is always cash. So, please see in the particulars column, we will write furniture account debit to cash, to is prefixed with the credit one. right? Let us proceed further, cash withdrawn for house. Now, it is a drawing for household purpose, so it will reduce our capital and cash is going out from the business. So, my entry will be capital account debit or drawings account debit to cash. Next, interest received in cash. Now, cash is coming in cash account debit and interest is the income, it will be credited. So, cash account debit to interest account. Next, salary paid, salary is an expense, salary account debit and cash is going out to cash, cash is credit. Next, salary outstanding. Now, please see, we have not paid it, it is outstanding, but it is an expense. So, salary will be debited, but now instead of cash, salary outstanding will be credited. So, salary account debit to salary outstanding. Next, taken loan from bank. Now, what is coming? Bank account is coming and what is the liability part? Loan. So, entry will be bank account debit to bank loan. Next, telephone bill paid by check. Telephone bill as expense. So, expense will be debited, telephone expenses debit and we are paying check. So, bank will be credit, telephone expenses debit to bank account. Next, cash paid to Raj Kumar, Raj Kumar is the receiver. So, Raj Kumar account debit to cash because cash is going out, right. So, to conclude we can say journal is the books of original entries. When business is small, we make only journal, but as the business grows in size, 
journal has to be divided into sub journals like cash book, purchase book, sale book, purchase return book etcetera. Now, what are the advantages of journal? First, no transaction is omitted as everything is recorded. So, there is no point of omission. Next, as entry is done date wise that is chronological locating any transaction is very easy. Next, narration explain the transaction. So, there is no problem. Next, once recorded in the journal there is no problem in the posting as you know what account has to be debited, what account has to be credited and you can simply turn to that page and record in that. Now, if something has advantages it has limitations also. When transactions are very large it makes the general very bulky. So, we have to subdivide as I already told you into various other books like purchase book, sale book etcetera. Next, now all these repetitive transaction leads to repetitive postings say for cash account coming on umpteenth number of times. Now, this makes it very boring, but you know we have to go with this part and record it. Next, journal does not provide ready information like ledger. Suppose, I want to know what I have to take from Ram or what I have to give to Sham. I can just simply move to the ledger and find out, but with the journal I have to locate all those entries it is really not possible to get the information. So, students in this session we have understood a very very important topic of journal entries what is to be debited, what is to be credited and how we have to post it in the journal, what do you mean by narration, what is ledger folio, what is debit amount, what is credit amount. This is going to help you very much in the further discussions and to understand the accountancy. In our next session we are going to start with the next point in this series that is ledgers. What are ledgers? what are the accounts, how to make them and all that. Till then, goodbye, thank you very much.